everyone. Welcome to another Random Talk Sunday. I apologize I had to delay this video until today. Pretty busy still uh, from over the weekend, and I made note of it in Thursday's video. But in case you didn't get that memo, uh, I had to unfortunately delay some video making, but should be caught up by the end of today. So without further ado, let me address what I wanted to talk about for this particular Random Talk Sunday, and that has to deal with stress and anxiety. Um, I think we've dealt with a lot of these emotions, at least within life. Um, I, I, I've dealt with them too, and uh, obviously I think people deal with it in a variety of different ways, and, you know, the way in which we sort of uh, not only express the emotion, but the way in which we sort of develop it within ourselves uh, is uh, a lot different. Uh, like, for example, people get stressed out or get anxious about a variety of different things, depending on what situation you're in life or what you're experiencing. So it's kind of all based upon, um, you know, what you, uh, what in what way stress and anxiety, I guess, is presented to you and sort of how you handle it. Um, I guess I would say for me personally, um, I get sort of stressed and anxious about um, things that I don't even, that I don't know about, um, you know, like sometimes I feel like, oh, um, if I don't know this particular thing, then that's going to make me look not in particular smart on something or, you know, um, sometimes I'll get s stressed out over wanting or, or over not wanting to do something uh, incorrectly you know, uh, trying to not, you know, kind of, I guess, rock the boat, you could say. Um, I've always been that kind of person who's always wanted to kind of, you know, sort of do the right thing. And um, sometimes I'm unsure if what I'm doing is right or if I'm doing enough or, you know, I, I always feel like that there's some kind of pressure that I kind of put on myself um, and I think that's really what causes the sort of stress and anxiety. Like, I always feel like uh, there's some inadequacy in what I do. And so I'm, I'm always putting myself down. I'm, I'm a self-put-downer for sure uh, a lot of the time. And I think that often translates into being stressed out and anxious and, you know, not knowing what to do and wanting to make sure to do the right thing and do it the proper way and, you know, I, and I think this feel, fills me at least with a certain amount of uncertainty. And again, I think this is really where the anxiety and stress sort of boils through is, is, you know, not knowing if what I'm doing is right or if what I'm saying is right or, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you don't, you don't want to upset people, but at the same time, you know, you, you almost don't want to you know, give up your own identity and the way you interpret things, you know, and the way, you, you know, you want to handle certain things. So, again, I think it's it's just one of those things where it's kind of just difficult for me at times. Um, and sometimes I try to put all of my energy into something, um, but then it doesn't really pan out in the way I want it to or... Um, or I'll make a mistake along the way and uh, and then I feel bad and you know it just it's just that kind of pressure is uh, is something that I I personally kind of struggle with like I have a hard time dealing with it um, because of of wanting to not put pressure or burden on other people and at the same time not uh, do something wrong or again sort of kind of rock the boat or you know I've I've just never been that kind of person I guess you could say I, I've always been someone who is I think a lot easier to be in the sort of supportive role only because um, I think the anxiety of, of leadership and um, you know not being able to you know, handle a variety of different people and whatnot, I think is something that's a little bit, uh, I would say a little bit more of a challenge for, for me. Um, and more so because, uh, 
uh, I'd rather focus more on myself than worry about other people. Because uh, I already have enough stress and anxiety on myself already. So I, I guess that's why, you know, I kind of fit more into that mold. And, you know, I think it's, that's really where a lot of the, a lot of these emotions kind of come from, for me, for me personally. Um, but I'm sure there, obviously there's other ways into which I think people get this kind of, uh, feeling and, and again, it might be a, a feeling of inadequacy, a feeling of not being as, you know, smart or as, you know, as, as good at something, uh, under pressure maybe than some other people, um, you know, uh, uh, feeling like, uh, you know, that, uh, that, you know, you need to constantly push yourself, um, and then, you know, having that extra burden of stress onto you or, you know, just kind of not being able to kind of relax. Um, I think that's also to that, to something that makes it a lot a lot more challenging for people when they can't have those moments of of tension releasing like they can't uh kind of get their mind in focus and at the same time not feel the stress um i think that's something that's uh that's again something that uh people de might deal with um you know, and I, I think a lot of this stuff really stems from this, this, this fear that I think a lot of people have, which is the, the, you know, if, if I don't do something, you know, then I am this or I'm that, or I'm, you know, we will put labels on ourselves even, um, as to who we are based upon like what we're doing or what we're not doing. And uh, I think it's important to have those moments of pause, pausing throughout the day and just having a, a clarity and staying and having this certain peace of mindness. I think that's that's healthy for human beings to have. And I think this constant state of stress and, you know, thinking of overthinking about things, you know, and doing all of this stuff. Um, which at the end of the day, obviously it could, it could amount to something, but at the same time, you know, uh, you have to ask yourself, is the stress really worth what you're, what you're putting in? And, you know, all of that is really, I think, a big factor. And, and I think really, um, if we allow more, I think, balance and, uh, provide an, a certain extent opportunity, but at the same time, you know, kind of take a bras and a breather ourselves. Um, I think we would be less, uh, less kind of, I think we would have the, a certain amount of, uh, understanding with one another in that, uh, we're all different and we all have different ideas and purposes in which we could serve in life. And I think, the important thing to understand is, is we need a certain amount of peace within ourselves. Um, we need a certain amount of time to think, uh, and not necessarily constantly feel like we need to fulfill a void. Um, and in doing so, I think a lot of that fill, trying to fill the void is, is what sort of leads to people being really kind of stressed out and scared and, feeling vulnerable and anxious. Um, and so I think that's really uh, something that's, I think, very uh, interesting and, and important to know. And I think something that a lot of people may or may not be thinking about, um, and they may deal with it than, than themselves. Obviously, I mean, you could argue as to whether or not stress or ex and or anxiety is a condition or not. I mean, I just like to think that, you know, it's just kind of part of life. Um, and, uh, you know, it just kind of just depends on how you deal with it. I'm sure there's certain conditions to where these things are kind of um, categorized into a certain level of, uh, uh, of, uh, of problems for people. 
Um, but at the same time, I think it's, again, the a certain amount of clarity and not having to, you know, think about the stress or think about this or that. Um, having that sense of calmness uh, at the end of the day and just kind of draining your mind is, I think, a, a thing that we should kind of explore. Um, and then we'll all, I think, be a whole lot happier and a lot more, I think, satisfied with life um, instead of feeling like we have to always have a tough skin constantly. We always have to have a, you know, we always have to hide behind our our stress and anxiety, you know, we can't release it, you know? So I think that's, uh, again, people deal with this obviously in a variety of different way, ways, but uh, I think that that's what at least for me personally has helped is to kind of go into the kind of my space and just think things over, um, you know, and even listening to, to music, I find to be very, I actually find myself, again, being more productive and at the same time sort of less stressed when I have something to sort of listen to because it kind of, it allows me to clear my mind, but to the point to where I can actually kind of utilize my brain and get things done. So it's, it's interesting. I mean, people deal with this stuff in, a, in obviously completely different ways, but uh, that's just my honest experience. And I'd be more than happy to hear what anybody else has to say and what they do in order to deal with these kinds of emotions and uh, how they, how, how it sort of starts. Um, but uh, thank you so much for watching, though. If you have any questions, comments, again, concerns, more than happy to answer them. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.